Hey booktube, Chelsea the Reading Outlaw here to do my Newt's Readathon wrap up. Uh, as you guys know from my announcement video, Newt's ran through the entire month of August. I mean, now in September, so the month is done. I was going for the librarian track that would require me to get an O in Ancient Runes and E's in both Defense Against the Dark Arts and History of Magic, which would have been a total of seven books. I did not meet those goals. I won't say that I failed. But I did not succeed at the goals that I set. Um, I did end up getting my own in Ancient Runes. So for that, at the A level was a book that was recommended to you by a friend. I read The Ghost Map by Stephen Johnson, which was recommended to me by my friend Di. As I mentioned in my wrap-up video, this is the story of the cholera outbreak in the 1850s in London. And Dr. John Snow, who is the on-the-ground epidemiologist who figured out what was going on, who essentially put a stop to that cholera outbreak. It's also a really great urban planning study, as well as an epidemiology kind of history. Um, next was my E level, and this was a book that was written in the past tense. I read Jade City by Fonda Lee, which I loved, which ended on like such a tense moment and cliffhanger that I immediately went out and picked up Jade War, which I've already started. I really, really really enjoyed this one. This is about the island of Kekon where people are born who can control Jade and it's with these dueling clans. It's very like mafioso but also like fantasy because Jade gives these people powers and it's family dynamics and it's one of the really like best immersive fantasy like world building books that I've read in a really long time. And then for my O level, a book that's been on my TBR for forever. This was Sabriel by Garth Nix. I knew that I was going to like this book. I loved this book. This is about Sabriel, who is the daughter of the Abhorson, who is a necromancer. It is about her quest and her adventure to find her father when he goes missing. There are so, there are like three more books in this series, I think, three or four. So I'm really, really excited to pick up the next book and to like continue on. Thank you to everybody who like has encouraged me to put this book on my TBR over the years because I so thoroughly enjoyed it. So I did get my O level in Ancient Runes. I did not do any of my Defense Against the Dark Arts reading. Whoopsie. I was supposed to read Pretty Monsters, which was a book that was black underneath the dust jacket. It's sitting right here, literally from where I put it down after I filmed that video. I'm very bad at reading in print right now, you guys. I just, it's just, I should have put it like by my bedside. I should have put it in the bathroom for my bath book, but I just, I didn't. So it has been sitting right here since I filmed my new TBR video. So a little quick, like behind the scenes for you. Uh, I don't even remember what I was supposed to read for my other Defense Against the Dark Arts book, but I didn't. I just did not. <laughs> and then I ended up uh, only getting my A level in History of Magic, which was a fantasy book. Uh, it, like it semi counts because my E level was technically like a reread of a book I've read before. My A level, which was just a fantasy book, was Race to the Sun by Rebecca Rowanhorse, which I also talked about in my August wrap up. This is a middle grade hero's quest fantasy book about Najoni Begay and her brother Mac. They meet like Najoni is a monster hunter, and the book opens with her meeting a monster who wants to kidnap and who does kidnap her father. So then her and her brother and her best friend have to go on this quest to gather certain elements to go to the sun to get the weapons they need to defeat the monsters it is everything you love about heroes quest books it is a story that you've read before in middle grade fantasy but i guarantee you you've never read it like this it is navajo folklore it is they were myths and characters and legends that were new to me it inspired me to go and pick up books about the Ka and kanza people who are the indigenous people who settled the land that i currently live on in my state and so like it is just it's a wonderful book it is a yet another fantastic installment from the Rick Riordan imprint and I love what he's doing and the way that he's performing his allyship is just really really great and we're getting such great stories out of it uh, my E level what I would have gotten to like actually check off the category would have been Deal with the Devil which is the first mercenary librarians book by Kit Roca I have read this book before but I did not reread it this time and time for like the challenge so I'm not gonna count it so like I did basically like half the books I was supposed to read it happens I'm still really happy with all of the books I read I would not have read a lot of these books if it weren't for this challenge uh, my general kind of thoughts are that I love the OWLs and the Newt 
challenge. Like I love the owls and the newts. They are such intricate, well-built readathons. Like the amount of work that goes into them is truly like astounding between breaking down like the courses, the levels of participation, the career guide that came out this year. I just don't know how she does it. I really, really, truly don't know. <laughs> it's such a great community builder. I love participating. I will absolutely be participating again next year if and when she does them. I'm assuming they're going to be happening again. Uh, I think I may, as always, continue to need to like evaluate my goals and my actual like realistic pace of like what I can do. And for that reason, obviously, I do think the owls are a little bit easier than the newts. Um, but I really, really, really loved every book that I managed to read for this challenge. So yeah, that is my newts wrap up. Uh, not a whole success, but a success in terms of like the things that I actually did manage to read. So yeah, let me know down below if you participated, how you did, what career you went for, if you're going to participate next year, general thoughts. If you've made it this far in the video, please leave me an emoji down below just so that I know you stopped by to say hello because I know that sometimes it's hard to find the energy for a full comment. Uh, but yeah, otherwise come find me on social media to talk books. And until next time, friends, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and have happy reading. Bye.